Hey everyone, AJ's my name, Thwipside's my game, and my dad jokes are lame, but don't despair, because today we're going to take a look at Marvel's Despair, part of the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Rintra Build-A-Figure Wave. Now, quickly before we take a look at Despair, I know nothing of this character, so I did look him up, and I found that he first appeared in Marvel Team-Up number 68, and it's I bring that up because... Not knowing that, uh, like two weeks ago, I was bidding on that comic. <laughs> I didn't happen to win it, which is a shame, because then I would have had it, and I could have showed you guys real quick. But besides that, I did some research and just met, wanted to mention his powers. His power is he can instill fear in people and then use that fear to basically fuel him and make him stronger. He has other powers too, but that seems to be like a big one of his big powers so unfortunately he's a little light on the accessories i don't know if that's because of his character or just uh hasbro being a little cheap but he comes with a set of moo ha ha or power hands and he comes ah, he's gonna fall comes with a set of fists taking a closer look at despair himself i mean he's pretty basic as you can see um he has this nice Blackish, grayish body, dark gray, almost black body. Pretty plain. He does have like the white go like gloves. Uh, this isn't sculpted. I, it was painted nicely. The end of his gloves. The cape, just white, but I like how it has the tattered effects. And besides, oh, and also with the cape, I do like the texture of the inside. But for me, what really sells this guy and makes him interesting is his head. I love this head sculpt. So yeah, I really like that. And I think, my eyes aren't what they used to be, but I think, well, there's some red in his eyes. But I almost want to say I can see a pupil, but I'm not sure because my eyes are shot. But yeah kind of basic but doing my research that's pretty much the character so <laughs> what do you expect but the head sells it the head looks awesome real quick before we go into articulation i am happy that this cape does not have the plug into the back and the peg with the hole because I, I don't know they're just a pain in the ass to me but articulation because of the cape is hindered you can uh with the cape on. I'll do it with the cape on because that's how most people display him. You look up that far. Look down that far. Side to side. Tiny bit of tilt. He does have butterfly joints. But again, with the cape. Kind of really hindered. <laughs> He's got the bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. that go up really far. Nice. It's got the whist, uh, whist, yeah, waist swivel, edge, ab crunch forward, edge, not much back, could go farther without, again, the cape, um, legs can go out that far, kick up, kick back into the cape, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, um, swivel at what would be the boot, if it is a boot, <laughs> Ankles go way far back. Decent amount of forward and the pivot. Those of you who may just want a basic body for customs, I'll go over articulation real quick there without the cape. Head goes back that even farther. There's a lot more range of motion without the cape, obviously. Here's the butterfly joints. So nice range of movement without the cape. Still can't kick back that far, but everything else you can do with the cape. But those are what the cape hindered. In case, like I said, you wanted to use a basic body. Another plus if you just wanted a basic body is this paint work. From far away, it kind of looks like it's sculpted, but it's not. You could just paint right over that. Bottom line for me is, even though he's not the most exciting looking character, I guess you could say overall, I really do like him to me. It's all about the head sculpt and how he looks really cool, really freaky. And the cape really helps uh, make him stand out to what otherwise is a basic body. 
if you're collecting the Rintra, the figures for the Rintra build a figure, and you're not really into him but want to build that figure, you could always use the body for customs, making customs. So that's a plus. So he does have value even if you're not interested in the character. Me, I think he's pretty cool looking, creepy in his own way, and happy to add another character to my collection. And as a plus, his first appearance is in a comic that I'm already trying to track down. I would have had his first appearance and not even realized it. So I'm hoping to be able to pick that up sooner than later. And that'll about do it, I guess. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button and thwip that notification bell. And I will see you guys all right back here on the thwip side. Thanks for watching and later.